This is Oxalis spiralis vulcanicola molten lava. So probably all you need to remember is Oxalis molten lava. This is a nice little uh, perennial, uh, well suited for what you see right here. Uh, it is a great little mini ground cover kind of for vignette plantings and uh, very nice around rocks, rock gardens and uh, spilling over the edge of uh, low rock walls like you see here and also very well suited for pots. Um, I think that's probably its best use uh, that I've seen. Um, and one of the reasons is is that the Oxalis family can be invasive. Um, they spread by runners as well as by seeds and um, this variety molten lava uh, produces very few seeds so in regards to spreading that's one of the ways it's more limited you see very little spreading because of seeds I have a form of oxalis in my lawn that I cannot get rid of um, and uh, so I will vouch for the fact that these are very invasive if you get the wrong varieties so this one is popular because of its foliage color and its flowers uh, these flowers show up from spring through fall. Um, this one you see here is in Carmel, California. So one of the things about um, Carmel and the areas like it, it's coastal California in the fog belt uh, like San Francisco, even Los Angeles and um, San Diego, Santa Barbara along the coast where you get uh, fog during the summer so you do not get hot summers. So you get a nice mild temperature when a lot of other areas are having hot temperatures and I find that a lot of interesting colors show up in foliage as a result of the cooler temperatures and you see this nice red uh, in, in reddish pink in these leaves right here I believe most of that's uh, related to the cooler temperatures a lot of plants too will show uh, foliage coloration during stress uh, like sedum dragon's blood does this during the winter and also if it's got some kind of stress happening to it so I think that's what gives this a lot of its interesting color otherwise you're still getting kind of a limey green to yellow or chartreuse foliage along with the um, yellow flowers you see here so they can be very attractive um, and low these this plant is probably six inches high plus or minus and um, spreads out to a couple of feet in general. Um, so that's the main characteristic. In cooler areas you can use it in full sun. In hot inland areas I use this in a pot. It didn't love it. It's in full sun and it really struggled with that. So I would say in hotter areas you're going to want part sun to shade uh, for this guy. And water. Um, I'd say regular water is probably going to do best for this. Again, I, I think that's driven a lot by how much light it's getting. If it's in a hot area, you're going to need more water. If you're in a mild uh, area like this in Carmel, you can get away with less water. But you're not using large amounts of this typically. And if that's the case, a little regular water isn't going to hurt you because it's, we're not talking about big volumes of it. Um, deer typically leave oxalis alone so it's probably fairly safe in deer areas and again I just think it's a nice small scale accent plant um, especially if it has some way to drape over an edge uh, seems to give it a lot of its uh, interesting character. In terms of hardiness this is hardy to around 10 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit so you can use it in some pretty cold areas. And that is uh, Oxalis spiralis vulcanicola molten lava. Oxalis molten lava. Nice little perennial, great for pots or rock gardens. Enjoy. Here are some nice companion plants for Oxalis molten lava.